welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today we're going to be doing a low top soap inspired by turquoise. Turquoise is one of my very favorite stones. I love how it comes in all different like colors and sizes and just the variety surrounding that one type of rock is so cool. If you don't already know it, I have two giveaways going on right now. One of them is on my personal Instagram and one of them is on the previous video. So be sure to check out both of those things if you want to win free stuff, including some money. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're beginning this soap a little bit different than normal because normally I would take my lye water solution, I'd pour it directly into the oils and then I would begin the coloring process. But today, since the whole soap is all one color, we're going to go ahead and add the colorant straight into the oils. This is a mixture of like five different blues. I just kept adding adding all different colors to it, so I will list all of them down in the description box below. But I've blended it with some of the oils that were in here, so I just took, you know, maybe three or four teaspoons, put it in here with all the colorants, and then mixed it up real well. Now I'm going to scoop up a little more of that oil, blend it some more, that way eventually, once I pour it all out, there will be less and less colorant every time. I'm going to call that about good. I think I've gotten out about as much as I possibly can. One of the great things about mixing it up with a popsicle stick and in one of these little tiny shot glasses is that you can just throw it away when you're done. You don't have to wash it. Now I'm going to blend this up with the stick blender just to make sure that all the colorant is nice and dispersed in the oils. And then we're going to pour in our lye water solution and blend, blend, blend. is blended up completely, it's time to add the fragrance oil. So today I am using Nature's Garden Blue Agave. This is a really lovely unisex fragrance. However, if you would like to do a floral that I think is more targeted to women, you could use the Turquoise from Brambleberry. The only reason I'm not using this one today is just because I wanted this soap to be, again, targeted towards men and women, whereas I think this fragrance oil is pretty feminine. I'm going to blend in the fragrance oil first just by spatula. This fragrance oil doesn't really accelerate trace very much, but it does rice just a little bit. Now that everything is incorporated, I'm going to move this big bucket off to the side and we're going to begin pouring into the molds. Let's pour a little bit of our mixture into the molds, just enough to cover the bottom. Now in my mini tea strainer, I have a little tiny bit of activated charcoal. And whenever you use this um, for a mica line or something, you have to make sure that you press very, very gently because it's very fine. It comes out really quick. Just going to put a whole line all the way down both of these soaps. Not a very thick one, but definitely one that will be visible when the soap is cut. Now I'm gonna take a tiny bit more of the soap and pour it right down the middle, just in a straight line. It's gonna slightly displace the original mica line here, but that's all right. So you can see right down the middle, just like so. And now I'm gonna cover that little line with some of the activated charcoal as well. And I'm going to continue to do this all the way down the soap, kind of alternating where I'm pouring the blue and then putting some either activated charcoal or gold mica all the way up the soap. And I'm going to pour some down the sides, then I'll pour some in the middle. We're just going to kind of make it really random because that's what turquoise looks like on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up.
Okay, so now that all of the soap is in the mold, we're going to begin decorating the top. And we're going to start by putting a little bit of Aztec gold in the tea strainer right down the middle of the soap, just like this, all the way down. A little sparse right here. I'm gonna fill that in a little more. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of mint green and put that right here on the very edge of the gold. It's gonna get on your mold a little bit. Don't worry about it. You can always wipe it up later. Now I'm gonna take my little gold spritzer that I got from Nurture Soap and it has some shimmer gold mica and I'm gonna put that on the top, a little bit down this blue side that doesn't have anything on it. Not a whole, whole bunch, just enough to give it a little bit of sparkle. So now we're gonna take some black sea salt. This is the small kind from Crafter's Choice, which is available at Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I'm gonna sprinkle this on the side that doesn't have much on it. So just kind of in a straight line, trying to keep it as much away from the gold and that teal color as I can. And on this side, same thing. We're going to add a little bit of pink sea salt. This is the medium size from Crafter's Choice, and we're gonna kinda sprinkle that as the transition between the gold and the black sea salt. So right in the middle of those two. And finally, we'll spritz with some rubbing alcohol, and these soaps are complete. I'm really digging these bars. They're super fun on top, and they're kinda, they got kinda like a, I am really, digging these soap bars. They have sort of a modern, simple elegance to them. I'm gonna let them sit in the molds for 18 to 24 hours, and then we'll come back and we will cut up the turquoise soap. We are back the next day to cut the turquoise soap, so I am super, super digging this little mica powder swirly thing, whatever that is, kind of gradient on top. So pretty, and the salts stuck really well. So I've lined it up with my 18 bar cutter Evangeline. I'm gonna scoot it just a little bit to the side there. This cutter is from Nurture Soap Supplies. I'm gonna push down with even pressure. And then we'll take one right out of the middle to show you guys the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see this little bump right here. That's where I added sort of that one little straight line of soap batter and then I covered it again with the activated charcoal so it would make that bump in the bar. Here's another one, it's a little thinner on this one, but I am totally digging creating the lines exclusively out of activated charcoal and gold mica. I think that makes it look really realistic. The smell is amazing, really clean, really fresh scent. And I just really love the way this looks. I love it, I think it looks just like turquoise. Here's what the top looks like up close. See, look, look at that cool gradient. I love that. Tub Tub, do you have a question of the day for yeah. us? Oh, okay, well, let's hear it. Would you rather be forced to only wear one color each day or to wear seven colors at one time each day? Oh, no. Well, I would definitely rather just wear one color each day. I mean, I may have a very fun personality, but my clothing choices are boring. Well, I know what you'd pick, Caleb. I'm not even gonna ask your opinion. You'd pick to wear black every single day, wouldn't you? I mean, you can change the one color every day. It just has to be the same. <laughs> to black and gray? Yeah. <laughs> If you'd like to vote in the question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I'll be really curious to see if all of the members of the royal court um, lean toward one color, or if you guys like to wear a bunch of rainbows. I will be really, really curious to see. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to enter the two giveaways that I have running right now right now, and this soap will be available on March 7th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you all have an absolutely royal day, and bye for now!